Right, the question that we have to kind of like look at is uh, page 17. Can we page 17? Okay, um, so I know Mr. Ken, I ask you to do this in pencil, right? Are you paying attention? Okay, look at the first question. Why was all this reluctant to meet the other students? Okay, can anybody tell me why? What's your answer? When August was a kid, no one said stuff to try to hurt his feelings as they were also a kid who did not know how to say rude comments. Since they grew up, August was worried that the other students would be rude to him. Is this your own opinion or is it taken from the text? Okay, which part? Can I tell you? Page 21. The thing is, Starting from page 20 at the bottom. When I was a little, when I was little, I never minded meeting new kids. Because all the kids I met were really little too. Right? So what's the meaning of kids that were uh, are still little? They don't know anything. What else? Sorry? Not mature. Okay? I mean, everything is new to them, right? Yeah? I mean, when you're, when you're a small child, everything is new. So everything that is new is, in other words, normal. Lah. Right? But once you start to see more and more people, once you have experience, then you start to compare, right? You start to compare. Why are they like that? Why are these people like this? So on and so on. What's cool about really little kids is that they don't say stuff to try to hurt your so what is he saying? Little kids are not what? Little kids. They are not what? What? What's smart? Not? Not judgmental. I guess whatever that you comes from saying things that hurt your feelings, right? Don't say stuff to try to hurt your feelings. Maybe judgmental is something else. It's, it's related, but it's something else. When you say something to hurt somebody's feelings, what do you become? Me. Simple word, mean. Yeah? So little kids are not mean. They're not... They don't... Uh, purposely or they don't set out to be nasty, right? Okay? Because they are innocent, isn't it? Mostly, right? Mostly are innocent. And this comes from the fact that they are innocent. And then of course comes in what you say about being judgmental, right? So they're not as judgmental. Okay? I mean, they might speak up if they, you do something that upsets them, right? If you take their food, you take their food, or you know, I hope they heard that. Um, Oh, you do, I mean, whatever, I mean, you, people don't like to share, you know, look like kids, little kids like to share. Then there are some kids who don't like to share, right? They might say something nasty, right? But even if they say something, they won't know it's nasty, right? Uh, or, you know, there are some small boys, boys, right? They don't know what they're doing. Some of them, you know, like to touch their pee, -pee <laughs> in public, right? And then the parents say, hey, you can't do that, right? So they, they don't know what is right and what is wrong. So they are essentially innocent, isn't it? Right? So why was August reluctant to meet the other students? Okay. I heard other voices, page 20. I was about to say something else, but then all of a sudden I heard other voices outside the office, kids' voices. 
I'm not exaggerating when I say this, but my heart literally started beating like I just run the longest race in the world. The laughter I had, I had inside, I had laughter inside me, right? August was saying, I, I was happy for a moment, I had laughter. Just poured out of me, immediately just poured, his heart sank. Right? Or he not sank, as in his heart, his heart started to, he, he became very what? He became very scared and anxious, right? And then of course he made this comment about, you know, he made this comment about uh, not minding what little kids say because little kids don't, are not me. They don't, they don't do it on purpose anyway, right? Even if they say something, uh, they might not what, know what it means, right? You know why a kid say something over and over again? Because he gets a reaction from others. If, you, if a kid, like, you know, you have a small brother or sister that likes to drop a toy, right? And then you, you know, you, as an adult, as a small, a bigger girl, you react. You go, whoa! And then they laugh. <laughs> you give them the toy, they drop it again. Right? That's what they like to do. Okay, because it's, it's all about reaction to them. But, that, but they don't actually know what they're saying, right? Big kids, though. Uh, I think this part is the one that you probably have to write in, in addition to this. Can you, can you put that in? Okay. Because you said when August was a kid, no one said stuff to try to hurt his feelings, and they were, also, they were also a kid. I think what you mean you need to write down is little kids. Right? So, summarize. In other words, August didn't mind little kids, but big kids were different, right? Big kids though, they know what they're saying. Isn't that the whole idea? When you know whatever you're saying and you're saying it for a purpose, you mean what you say, in other words, right? You mean what you say. And that is definitely not fun for me. One of the reasons I grew my hair long last year was that I like how my bangs cover my eyes. It helps me block out the things I don't want to see. Okay, um, I don't know whether this is literally, but I think he also meant it metaphorically. Like, and I think he, does, he doesn't like to see certain things. Like, because, you know, like, remember he saw Mrs. Garcia's reaction, right? And then he also talked about the look away thing. Is it the look away thing? People like to do. Mrs. Garcia knocked on the door and poked her head inside. Okay, so in other words, what is the answer to the first question? Why was August reluctant? Because he was afraid. So you have to interpret, though, based on what he says, you have to interpret and answer the question. He was afraid that the kids would say what? Something to hurt his feelings. Right? He was afraid that the kids would say something either to hurt his feelings or that might hurt his feelings. Alright? Yes. the way we look sometimes, right? What we wear, how our hair is like. Okay, I know some of you don't care, right? You say you don't care, right? But we are very obsessed with the way we look because we are afraid people will say something that will hurt our feelings, right? Okay, I know as a teenager I was very conscious sometimes about people, you know people. Yeah, I always thought, you know what? I always got in um, 
in university, I always got a pimple on my nose. And people will call me Rudolph. Right? Although it's funny, but after a while, stop it! Right? You just get sick and tired of it. Especially when they, you know, when they look at me and they constantly say, hey, you're so handsome. Stop it! Joking and joking. Not everybody lah. Most people. Right, Mrs. Garcia knocked on the door and pulled the head inside. They're here, Mr. Tushman, she said. Who's here? I said. Thanks, said Mr. Tushman to Mrs. Garcia. August, I thought it would be a good idea for you to meet some students who will be in your homeroom this year. Jang, jang, jang. I figured they could take you around the school a bit, show you the lay of the land, so to speak. I don't want to meet anyone, I said to Mum. Mr. Tushman was suddenly right in front of me, his hands on my shoulders. He leaned down and said very softly in my ear, It'll be okay, August. These are nice kids, I promise. You're going to be okay, Oggy, Mum whispered with all her might. Because she could, before she could say anything else, Mr. Tushman opened the door to his office. Come on in, kids, he said, and in, in walked two boys and a girl. None of them looked over at me or mum. They stood by the door looking straight at Mr. Tushman like their eyes depended on him. Why were they, like, so focused on Mr. Tushman? Huh? They don't, why, why is it that they don't want to look at him? Why don't you look at him? Have you ever had this experience? Maybe, I don't know, maybe not. Have you ever visited anyone in a hospital? Right? Maybe not someone close. Maybe just, you know, your parents are visiting you for the day. Okay? And then, you know that the person is in a bad state. Right? Sometimes you try not to look at it. Right? You feel a bit self-conscious. You're, you're afraid that you know you look then you, you don't know how to react. Should, should I smile? Should I say something? Should I you know? Just tell me. Right? It's like you, you don't want to look because you don't know how to how to react. Right? <laughs> Interesting, right? Wait, wait. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much for coming, guys. Especially since school doesn't start until next month. The culture is slightly different, huh? The principal called the children guys. Right? What about our principal in Singapore? Kids. Students. Children. Right? Maybe, lah. Maybe I know some uh, principal a bit more progressive, huh? called guys. I know some teachers from the students guys. I will never. Right, I draw a line. Can you see the line? Neither can I, but there is one. Okay. So before you call me, uh, wait, this is not the class, yeah, my group, this is not the class. Oh yeah, this is the class. Right. Never mind. Okay. Do you, uh, you remember the joke about Mrs. G? Uh, just leave it there. Don't do it outside. Okay, please don't call me Mr. S. Do you want to do it? Try it. Okay, this is embarrassing. Right? Alright, anyway. Thanks. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Ah. Okay, all of them nodded, but no one said anything. Great, great. So, guys, I wanted you to meet August, who's going to be a new student here this year. Okay, what's the next question? Huh? Which student do you like best? Okay, right, this is the next chapter. Okay. Um, okay, so kids, this is August. August, this is Jack Will. Okay, which is the nice one? Jack, Jack, right? Jack is the nice one. Okay, Jack Will looked at me and put out his hand. When I shook it, he kind of half smiled and said, Hey, and looked down really fast. Is this surprising? Not really. This is Julian, said Mr. Tushman. Hey, said Julian, and it's the same exact thing as Jack Will. Took my hand, forced a smile, looked down fast. And Charlotte, said Mr. Tushman, 
Charlotte had the blondest hair I've ever seen. She didn't shake my hand but gave me a quick little wave and smile. Hi, August. <laughs> nice to meet you, she said. Hi, I said, looking down. <laughs> Do you understand? Do you understand? So the two boys said hi to him, they looked down. Yeah, when the girl said hi to him, he looked down. Right? I guess, in, in a way, it's like, um, it prevents us from like judging the boys. You know, the boys look down, look down, look down. Maybe they don't, they don't look down because of the way he looked. Maybe they look down because they felt awkward. Right? You know when you feel awkward, you look down, you look away, you look somewhere else. Right? Okay? And the same thing happened to August, right? I mean, you're at that age where you don't really mix with the opposite gender, right? Okay? And then when a girl comes in and she's like the blondest hair and you get caught staring at the blonde hair. <laughs> and then when the girl says, hi, nice to meet you. You go like, okay. <laughs> right? It, it kind of makes you kind of self-conscious to some extent. It makes you feel awkward. So he looked down, right? She was wearing bright green crocs. Why? Because he likes to look down, right? Then he can see the, the shoes. So, Mr. Tushman, putting his hands together in a kind of a slow clap. What I thought you guys could do is to take August on a little tour of the school. Maybe you could start on the third floor. That's where your homeroom class is going to be. Room 301. I think Mrs. G is... Room 301! Mrs. G called out from the other room. Room 301. And then you can show August the science labs and the computer room. Then work your way down to the library and performance space on the second floor. Take him to the cafeteria, of course. Should we take him to the music room? Asked Julian. Good idea, yes. August, do you play any instruments? No, I said. It wasn't my favorite subject on account of the fact that yeah, I don't really have ears. I mean, his ears are really small. Okay, well, I do, but they don't look exactly look like normal ears. Well, you may enjoy seeing the music room anyway, said Mr. Tushman. We have a very nice selection of percussion instruments. August, if you wanted to learn to play the drums, Mum said, trying to get me to look at her. But my eyes were covered by my bangs, and as I stared at a piece of old gum that was stuck to the bottom of Mr. Tushman's desk. So he was constantly looking down, and I think he was feeling quite um, shy. Yeah, that's the word. Okay, great. Okay, so why don't you guys get going, right? Just be back here in, he looked at Mum, half an hour, okay? I think Mum nodded. So is that, is that okay with you, August? I didn't answer. Is that okay, August? Mom repeated. I looked at her now. I wanted to see how mad I was at her. Right? Why was he angry? Why was he angry at uh, the mother? You were agreeing with me just now. Mm. Why was he angry at the mother? She didn't tell him about the about meeting other kids. She didn't tell him about the tour. First of all, she didn't tell him about the tour. She didn't tell me that the other kids would bring him on the world, right? How many of you have this, uh, like, pet peeve? You don't like things last minute. But they will tell you, okay, we're going here, huh? Right? I'm, I'm very, I'm very, like, averse. I used to react very badly, but now I just keep quiet. Right? Just the other day, I was, uh, I came back from my sister-in-law's house. Right? Came home. I had lunch there, came home. I was already out in my sarong and like very relaxed already in, my, in front of my computer. Then my another sister in law called, hey, we bought cake. We are going to cut cake at that house. So my wife said, okay, let's go. I just got home in my sarong. In my, I felt it was very sort of wrong. <laughs> so this is last minute things I do. Not very good at it, but of course I didn't say anything. Maybe if you look at my face, you probably see I was annoyed. But I didn't say anything. Okay? See you soon, said mum. Her voice sounding a little higher than normal. I didn't answer. The grand tour, ladies and germs. <laughs> Question number four. Which student do you like best and why? What's the answer? Anybody? Who do you like? Who do you like? Your Work is not done. You're doing it now. Your handwriting is 
Where did you go? You shouldn't be like that. Charlotte? Charlotte, when August asks questions, she answers and look at August. Okay, good point. But what does that show? You have not interpreted that behavior. What does that show about Charlotte? In other words, we are asking about Charlotte's in, uh, impression of Charlotte's character. Right? Because how we feel towards the character is dependent on the nature of the character. Right, huh? Okay. Do you like Android or iPhone? iPhone. Android. iPhone. Android. So the question is, why? Why do you like iPhone? Okay, so you're, you, you assume that it's good quality. You assume that it's good quality because it has better design. No, I said that it, it can like last longer. It can last longer. Yeah. Okay, all this is misconception. No, it's not. Really? No, it's not. It can last longer. It can last longer. Yeah. If you put a, 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 a good casing, yes, it can last a long time. No. You drop an uh, iPhone, same. No. Hang on. We have a fan boy here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We have a fan. Okay, never mind. So you like it because it's Apple. Why you like Android? More apps. Mm -hmm. More apps, yeah. Okay, I believe it's possible. Not, I think, you can do more customized things, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, at iPhone, you're very restricted by the interface. Yeah, right. but iPhone, your parent can control your phone. So you like it or you don't like it? <laughs> and you're absolutely true. All my children are iPhone. Android. <laughs> they all the phone together. I also have an iPhone. I used to follow them. <laughs> Everywhere they go. <laughs> yes. I'm their grandmaster. Grandmaster. No, I'm looking, I'm looking. Okay? Let's see, let's see whether we agree with you that Charlotte. So what what let's look at what, what kind of person is Charlotte, okay? Jack, Will, Julian, Charlotte, and I went down a big hallway to some white stairs. No one said a word as we walked up the third floor. When we got up to the top of the stairs, we went down the little halfway, a uh, hallway full of lots of doors. Julian opened the door, marked 301. This is our home room, he said, standing in front of the half open door. We have Mrs. Petosa. They say she's okay, at least for home room. I heard she's really strict if you get her for math. No. That's not true, said Charlotte. My sister had her last year and said she's totally nice. Not what I heard, answered Julian. But whatever. How old are they? Uh? 10? Yeah, about 10, 11, right? Huh? I don't think so. Lah. I don't know. 9 or... Okay. Let's see what kind of person you are. Okay? Hands are hands. When you were 10 or 11, right? When somebody asks you, hey, do you like Superman? Do you go, yes, I love Superman? Or do you go, no, I hate Superman? Or you wait for the other person to talk first and then you see whether you can find some middle ground. Yeah. Are you that kind? Or do you notice that boys and girls always have opposite opinion? Like, like boys will boys will gang up together and say, oh this is good, then girls go, no, 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 no. Boys are more messy. Boys are more messy. I live longer than five of you here. But it doesn't depend on the gender, it depends on the Okay. Uh, in general, girls' handwriting is better. Yes. Oh, okay, wait. Also <laughs> Based on your thousand years of living, right? But in general, girls' handwriting is better. In general. Okay, some boys are really good. You know, just look at uh, what's his name? Uh, no, uh, Big Bang Theory was okay. Sheldon. Sheldon. Tall guy. 
Okay? No la. I think everybody is different. Everybody is different. Okay? Right. He closed the door and continued walking down the hallway. Now, who goes whatever? What kind of person goes whatever? Uh, try hearts. Huh? Try hearts. Try? Hearts. Oh. Try hearts. Try to, try to be cool. Try to be cool. Okay, yeah. I think you, to a certain extent you're right. As in, sometimes if, even if they don't know something, right? They try to, they try to hide it by going whatever. Yeah. And if they, are, if they are caught to be in, in the wrong, they also say whatever. Okay, relax, relax. So in other words, is Julian a person that it has strong character? Is Julian a person that tries to be cool? No, but he's already cool. He's already cool. Like the iPhone. Very hard to talk to you. Okay, let's look. This is a science lab, he said. When he got to the next door, and just like he did two seconds ago, he stood in front of the half open door and started talking. He didn't look at me once while, we, while he talked, which was okay because I wasn't looking at him either. You won't know who you have for science until the first day of school, but you want to get Mr. Haller. He used to be in the lower school. He would play this giant tuba in class. It was a baritone horn, said Charlotte. It was a tuba, answered Julian, closing the door. Dude, let him go inside so you can check it out. Jack Lowe told him, pushing past Julian and opening the door. Go inside if you want, Julian said. It was the first time we looked at him. Go inside if you want. I shrugged and I walked over to the door. Julian moved out of the way quickly like he was afraid I might, I might accidentally touch him as I passed by him. Do you like people who are like that? Nothing much to see, Julian said. Walking in after me. He started pointing to a bunch of stuff around the room. That is the incubator, that big black thing is the chalkboard. These are the desks, these are chairs. So stupid. <laughs> Those are the Bunsen burners, this is the gross science poster, this is chalk, this is eraser. Now, he's being very what? Not sarcastic, he's not sarcastic. He's being quiet. He's being quiet. Um, I want you to learn this word. Condescending. Condescending. When somebody treats you as if you don't know anything. Right? Yeah, I mean, that's exactly how you feel, isn't it? When somebody talks to you that way. I'm not that dumb. I'm not stupid, right? Okay? Oh, by the way, this is the toilet. Oh, I just know that. Alright. It's quite condescending. Well, being condescending can be quite irritating. Very irritating. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You haven't seen anything yet. Look. You know what an eraser is, right? Charlotte asked. <laughs> okay. Charlotte is a, a bit of a. Uh, never mind. Good issue? Never mind. I admit, I was feeling so nervous that I didn't know what to say or do except look at the floor. And then Jack will ask, hey, can you talk? <laughs> Yeah, I nodded. I still re had really hadn't looked at any of them yet, not directly. You know what an eraser is, right? Asked Jack Will. Of course, I mumbled. I told you there was nothing to see in here, said Julian, shrugging. I have a question, I said, trying to keep my voice steady. Mm, what exactly is home rule? Is that like a subject? No, that's your group, explained Charlotte, ignoring Julian's smirk. <laughs> what is a smirk? It's like an evil smile. Like, as in, yeah, as in he's laughing at you. It's uh, something that, it's like a scornful look. 
like laughing at you. That is a scornful look, a smirk. Like he doesn't know. In other words, in my mind, in his mind, he's like, oh, he doesn't know us. Homeroom, stupid. <laughs> right? Of course, he doesn't know, right? He hasn't gone to school. Okay? It's like, it's like a boy in your uh, girl's school trying to find a, a, a boy's toilet. Don't they have? Oh, you got a men's toilet. <laughs> Sorry, no boys toilet. Huh? We're all men here. Yeah. Right? Okay. But Charlotte is not like that. Charlotte, Charlotte answered his, uh, his question. It's like when you go, when you get to school to the morning, in the morning and your home teacher also takes attendance and stuff like that. In a way, it's your main class even though it's not a re really a class. I mean, it's a class, but... Okay. Now, Charlotte is me. <laughs> right? It's like a person who over explains things. But it's a class, but it's not exactly a class. So that's not a lot. Eh? Right? I think she's trying to say the difference between a class is in a lesson class and a classroom class. Right? I think he gets it, Charlotte, said Jack Will. Do you get it? Charlotte asked me. Yeah, I nodded at her. Okay, let's get out of here, said Jack Will, walking away. Wait, Jack, we're supposed to be answering questions, said Charlotte. Jack will roll his eyes a little as he turned around. Do you have any more questions? He asked. Um, no, I answered. Oh, well, actually, yes. Is your name Jack or Jack Will? Jack's my first name. Will is my last name. Oh, because Mr. Tushman introduced you as Jack Will, so I thought. Ha, ah, you thought his name was Jack Will. <laughs> Laugh, Julian. Yeah, some people call me by my first and last name, Jack said, shrugging. I don't know why. Anyway, can we go now? Let's go to the performance space next, said Charlotte, leading the way out of the science room. It's very cool. You'll like it, I guess. Okay, now, why is it... I, I, I suppose everybody probably likes Charlotte the best, yeah? No, I don't like Why? Because he's like very... Um, what? Uh, what? Very what? Because of this? She's very... Um, he's very... Um, <laughs> Jack, we? I, know, I thought Charlotte appears more friendly to... He doesn't treat... He doesn't treat all the same way as Julian and Charlotte. It's just like Charlotte over-explaining things and then he doesn't take on the same way as Charlotte. No, but is there anything wrong about over-explaining? No. Um, no. Like, okay, wait, wait, let's show of hands. How many of you uh, like Jack Will? Me. How many of you like Charlotte? We're not asking about that kind of life. Okay. Which student? But we cannot say two students. Why? Because it's wrong. Which student do you like best? Okay, but I guess if you can answer, uh, you can support why you like Jack the best. I think we call him Jack. Ah, don't call him Jack Wheeler. Jack Wheeler. I call Jack Wheeler. Okay. Sorry? What's the last name? Uh, that's... Before he died, that's what you call him last. <laughs> no lah, their last name is their surname lah. Their family name. There's a second name. There's a second name. There's a, yeah, some people have middle names. Yeah, some people have middle names. Some people have first name. Ah, I don't have a middle name. The name in the the word in the middle means son of. That's not my middle name. I just tell me, just tell people I'm the son of Rahim. Muhammad Said bin Rahim bin is son of. In Arabic, Ibni. You will understand when you try to understand. But if you choose not to understand, then you will never understand. I will try to understand to understand. Allow yourself to understand. Right? Because I don't want to waste my time explaining it. Okay. I think it's fair. If you can write Charlotte, why, reason, you can write Jack. But if you write Julian, I don't know why. Is it because you like mean kids? But what if you actually do? Then there's something wrong with you. <laughs> then you need... Literature cannot save you now. You need salvation. Bro, it's your turn. <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. My turn? No, no, it's not your turn. Yeah. It's his turn. Oh. Yeah. I haven't died yet. 
You mean they can only save you after death? Can save you now? How? Huh? Listen carefully. Okay, which student do you like best? Right? So maybe I like Charlotte. Mm. All those Jack fans. <laughs> no, the reason why I like Charlotte is that she's very friendly. Yes, right? Friendly. And she answers all his questions and she um, she explains things. Right? And she's so enthusiastic to show you the next part. It's as if she's treating him like a like a normal person, right? Yeah? I think Jack, to me, uh, in this uh, chapter, Jack is a bit, being a bit guarded. He's, he's not like totally uh, being extremely friendly, right? And I'm sure you probably know why later on. He's also friends with Julian, isn't he? Right? Okay. Remember the time when he, it was Halloween and they were wearing masks? Yeah. And Jack was trying to impress the other kids. And then um, August came in and he didn't know it was August. And then he said something quite insulting. You remember that part? Yeah. I think Jack is a person who tries to who yeah. tries to please everybody. Yeah. Right? But you can't be a everyone pleaser at the same time be genuine. Right? So why do we like Charlotte? Why do I like Charlotte? Right? To me, I think because Charlotte is uh, the, the friendliest. I think in this case, I like Charlotte because she's the friendliest. Okay, and she entertains all these questions. Okay, and she's enthusiastic. On the contrary, people like uh, someone like Julian, for example, is he showing uh, August around because he wants to, or is he just going through the motions? Just going like you know when he went to the science lab, he didn't even allow August to go in. It was Jack who said, "Hey, you should let, let him go and see inside, right?" Okay, and then when when August almost you know walked past him, he moved back as if he didn't want August to touch him. Right. So in other words, he was behaving quite well. Yeah, strange, and it was quite rude, right? Very rude behavior. Okay, next, last question. Luckily, you all don't have literature tomorrow, right? Yeah, but one two has, so I'm going through with one two with this tomorrow. What is it, luckily? Yeah. What is it, luckily? Is it luckily? Yeah, I mean, how many how many subjects you want to see for in one day? You only have to sit there until like two forty-five. Five. Huh? Five. 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 If you have the remedial, right? Yeah. All the way until four plus. Five. Such a long day. You still want to? All right. Which student do you not like, and why? Okay, I leave you to uh, this to answer this yourself. Which student you did not like? Probably all of us will chime the same uh, chime the same way. When I say chime in, everybody's probably say the same thing. We don't really like J Julian that much. Not here anyway, right? Who do you put? Anybody you didn't put Julian? Anybody put Charlotte? I don't like Charlotte. Anybody don't like Jack Will? Because if you don't like Jack Will, Jack will not like it. <laughs> Oh, See what I did there. <laughs> Why are you celebrating a day for fools? Oh. Oh. I'm making a fool. Today <laughs> very quiet, huh? Either tired or this morning you're not You did something wrong? Wrong. Wrong? That's my best friend, Wong. Wait, really? Mr. Wong. <laughs> no, lah, I don't know. You did something. It's okay. It's alright. You still have the rest of your life to pay for it. Hey! I was only for today, okay? Okay. Yeah, I'm saying you have a lot of time to recover. <laughs> hey, 
looking for the advice, Mr. M. Advice? <laughs> there you go, doing something wrong again. <laughs> Like this, not very long. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> Your laugh sounds fake. No. It's as if I'm reading a text. Ha ha ha. <laughs> you should read text like straight, like, thank you for the feedback. <laughs> But I'm gonna answer. Thank you for the feedback! <laughs> this is quite a joke, estimation mark. Testing. Huh? Testing. Alright, so which of you do you like grand tour? Oh, let's go to performance space. Okay, performance space. Alright. Charlotte basically didn't stop talking. <laughs> Maybe I know why you don't like her back now. Is it because she talks too much? <laughs> Fine. Okay, as we had, I think because she's uh, not, I think she loves the performance space so much, right? She likes what? She likes to be in the spotlight. Oh, okay, right. I think that's probably the reason why I'm the teacher because I like to be in the spotlight. I like to talk, right, Melina? Yeah. We don't have a spotlight. Everyone has a spotlight. See, see, I feel the ice cream. Start ready. <laughs> she loves to talk also, right? I have limitations. <laughs> you have limitations. Volume cannot control. Okay. Charlotte basically didn't talk talking as we headed down to the second floor. She was describing the play they had put on last year, which was Oliver. Y'all know Oliver? No. Yeah, I know Oliver. <laughs> Oliver is about a poor boy in England, in London, who's forced into pickpocketing. He's an orphan. And then, hey. and they have wonderful music in the in the in the musical. Yes, I. There was the first musical that I saw in the Esplanade. You know the Esplanade? Sure, Queen Victoria. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, it's for now, it's for me, tomato, tomato. Alright, so yes, Oliver, I love Oliver. She played Oliver even though she's a girl. That's fine, that's fine. In theatre, anything is possible. Right? Just ask Kuma. As she said this, she pushed open the double doors to a huge auditorium. At the other end of the room was the stage. Charlotte started skipping toward the stage. Julian ran after her and then turned around halfway down the aisle. Come on, he said loudly, waving for me to follow him, which I did. There were like hundreds of people in the audience that night, said Charlotte, and it took me a second to realize she was still talking about Oliver. <laughs> I, was so I was so, so nervous. I had so many lines, and I had all these songs to sing. It was so, 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 so hard. <laughs> Although she was talking to me, she really didn't look at me much. Is it because of his face, or is it because she was just consumed by all the... Uh, I think I just consume with myself. Yeah. Yeah. On, on opening night, my parents were all the way in the back of the auditorium, like where Jack is right now. But when the lights are off, you can't really see that far back. So I was like, where are my parents? Where are my parents? And then Mr. Resnick, our teacher, our teacher last year, he said, Charlotte, stop being such a diva. And I was totally, where? And I was like, okay. And then I spotted my parents and I was, Totally fine. I didn't forget a single line. Wow. wow. While she was talking, I noticed Julian starting at staring at me out of the corner of his eye. This is something I see people do a lot with me. They think I do not know they don't know they're staring, but I can tell from the way their heads are tilted. I turned around to see where Jack had gone to. He had stayed in the back of the auditorium like he was bored. We put out a play every year, said Charlotte. I don't think he's going to be one going to want to be in the school play, Charlotte, said William sarcastically. You can be in the play without actually being in the play, Charlotte answered. Looking at me, you can do the lighting, you can paint the backdrops. Oh yeah, whoopee, said Julian, twirling his finger in the air. But you don't have to take the theatre arts elective if you don't want to, said Charlotte, shrugging. 
There's dance or chorus or band. There's leadership. Only dogs take leadership. Julian interrupted. Julian, you're being so obnoxious. I said Charlotte, which made Julian laugh. I'm taking the science elective, I said. Cool, said Charlotte. Julian looked directly at me. The science elective is supposedly, supposedly the hardest elective of all, he said. No offense, but if you've never ever been in school before, why do you think you're suddenly going to be smart enough to take the science elective? I mean, have you ever been even studied science before? Like real science? Not like the kind you do in kids. Yeah, I nodded. He was homeschooled, Julian, said Charlotte. So he just came here to his house, asked Julian looking puzzled. No, his mother taught him, answered Charlotte. Is she a teacher? Julian said. Is your mother a teacher? No. So she's not a real teacher. Okay, I think I know why I don't like Julian. Why? Okay, I'll teach you a new word, right? Maybe it's not a new word. Don't say sad to me. Okay. How many of you know this word already? You've heard of it. But what does it mean? What does opinionated mean? You have a wide opinion, can it easily change? When you're when you're opinionated, do you like people to change your opinion? No. No. And do you like to assert your opinion on others? Yes. Right? Which is actually quite obnoxious, like what Charlotte says. Huh? It's quite obnoxious. What is obnoxious? Irritating. And naughty. Right? I'm not going to say, but I'm going to say anyway. You should know. I know. <laughs> okay. It takes one to know one. Right, never mind. Joke, huh? Joking, joking. Oh my goodness, I see it already. Page 29, everybody. Why is your hair so long? Julian said to me. It sounded like he was annoyed. I didn't know what to say, so I just shrugged. Can I ask you a question? He said. Didn't he just ask a question? What's the deal with your face? I mean, were you in a fire or something? Julian? That's so rude! Said Charlotte. I'm not being rude. I'm just asking a question. You see, Tushman said we could ask questions if we wanted to. No rude questions like that, said Charlotte. Besides, he was born like that. That's what Mr. Tushman said. We just weren't listening. I was so listening. I just thought maybe he was in a fire too. <laughs> Jeez, Julian. Just shut up. You shut up. Okay, so not only is he opinionated, he's also very what? <laughs> Don't use the word again. Somebody asked me to shut up, you said. Let me go. It's rude, right? Vocabulary very, very like limited. Okay. I think it's uh, like uh, aggressive. Can we say it's aggressive? Come on, Augustine, Jack. Let's just go to the library already. I walked toward Jack and followed him out of the auditorium. He held the double doors open for me, and as I passed by, he looked at me right in the face. So I guess if we compare, not just, we don't just look at the uh, chapter before this, we look at both chapters. I think overall, Jack is quite a nice person. Right? Um, why did Jack take him away from that space? Because Julia was being irritating. Julia was being annoying, right? Julia was asking him all these unnecessary questions. questions yeah? I mean, I think there's some something nice about someone who takes you away from a place that makes you feel uncomfortable. Right? He held the double doors open for me. Look, 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 page 29. He held the double doors open for me and as I passed by, he looked at me right in the face. Kind of daring me to look back at him, which I did. Then I actually smile. I don't know. Sometimes, which I have a feeling, which I have the feeling like I'm almost crying, it can turn into an almost laughing feeling. And that, most, and that must have been the feeling I was having then. Because I smile, almost like I was going to giggle. The thing is, because of the way my face is, people who don't know me very well don't always get that I'm smiling. I think that's, that's fair to say. Yeah. Because you can't tell is he, is he smiling or not because the, the face is not the same. 
My mouth doesn't go up to the corners the way other people's mouths do. It just goes straight across my face. But somehow, Jack Will got that I had smiled at him. And he smiled back. So in other words, they made a... They made icon there. They made a... Connection. Julian's a jerk, he whispered. Before Julian and Charlotte reached us. But dude, you're going to have to talk, he said. He said this seriously like he was trying to help me. I nodded as Julian and Charlotte caught up to us. We were all quiet for a second. All of, just, all of us just kind of nodding, looking at the floor. Then I looked up at Julian. The words, supposedly, by the way, I said. What did Julian say? Supposedly. Supposedly. <laughs> Julian is not exactly the smartest person in the room. Or the brightest lamp. By any means. He's more like daylight. You know there are three types of light, right? Yeah. There's the cool light, and then the daylight, and then there's the half in between one. Right? What are you talking about? You said supposedly before, I said. I did not. <laughs> Why are you so amused? <laughs> yeah, you did. Charlotte nodded. Oh, you know what happened in class the other day? So I was in class, okay, in the sec two class, and then one of the girls said, Chai, I don't have the poem. And I vaguely remember last Friday giving her a second poem. Because she had lost the first poem. So I, oh no, there were three lessons. So the first lesson, I gave out the poem. Second lesson, she said she didn't have the poem. So I gave, two of them asked. So I gave another poem to her. The next lesson this week, Chai, I don't have the poem. And then one of the girls in class went, Yeah, you gave to her already last Friday. Because I asked her, Did I give to you? No. <laughs> Just love it when people. Hi! Hi, Hi Mr. Hey, 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 Absolutely did not, he insisted. Whatever, whatever, said Jack. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, said uh, uh, the Green Charlotte, following Jack down the stairs, the next floor. I started to follow her, but Julian cut right in front of me, which actually made me stumble backward. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, what do you call that? You tried to trip, trip up people. Someone? Me, Mr. Wong. Mr. Wong. <laughs> mischievous. 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 Okay, mischievous. I think some people, I think Americans spell it without the I. Like D O U S. Mischievous. Yeah? It's quite mischievous. Anybody, you know anybody who like that like to trip you? Like to pull your skirt, pull your hair? My sister? Yes. Now that she's mischievous. Okay. But I could tell from the way he looked at me that he wasn't really sorry at all. How do you say sorry and not mean that you're sorry? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay. In other words, Starting to show what? Through colors. Through colors. Shiny. Shiny. Malicious. Finally, you're slowly making up for it. Okay? Slowly showing his malicious nature. Lah. Right? I think he can be quite malicious. Okay? Oh my god. I'm not 